Okay, this next story is wild. Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett says he believes the Bible mentions aliens and it only solidifies his faith in God. He also says more congressional hearings with UFO whistleblowers are in the works and on the horizon. The brand new revelations coming out in a new episode of Reality Check with News Nation special correspondent Ross Coldhart. Scan the QR code right here on your screen to check it out. But we have Ross joining us now live. Ross, UFOs in the Bible. You spoke with Burchett, who's one of the lawmakers heading up the UAP congressional hearings. Here he is boldly making those claims. Let's first take a listen. But I have no problem believing that there's there's mentions of extraterrestrials in the Bible, and it just, it doesn't question my faith one bit. It doesn't hurt it or damage it. Uh, if matter of fact, it makes it stronger. It makes it a lot more vast then we as Christians sometimes make it this little comfortable little box on this little round rock we call we call Earth. Yeah, so Ross, refresh my memory here where alien life is mentioned, because I don't recall learning that in Sunday school <laughs> myself. G'day, Marky. What? Yeah, look, it's fascinating. I mean, I guess we have to deal with this because so many Americans identify as Christian. I think it's well up to about 73, 74%. They have a belief in God. And one of the, thought, the thoughts that we had around Easter was to ask Congressman Burchett, who is one of the most prominent members in the Congress, talking about the UAP issue, is this incompatible? Is the, is the belief in the possibility of extraterrestrial intelligence incompatible with being a Christian? Because that's often the excuse that's given by those who suggest that it would be a bad thing for the government to be upfront with the American people if indeed it is true that they're concealing evidence of knowledge of a non-human intelligence. And Congressman Burchett says, it's not. In fact, he says that the Bible is replete with evidence that there are, are possibly extraterrestrial intelligences. And actually, I have to say, when you go through the verses and the accounts in the Bible that he describes, it's quite interesting because some of them do appear to describe what you and I would call flying saucers. I want, I'm curious, though, is that like, you know, when the disciples followed the star to Bethlehem? I mean, is that is that one of the examples? I'm trying to make sense it's of it. It's one of the ones that is cited, okay. yes. But one of the most popular ones is the book of Ezekiel, where there's a chapter, there's a verse that describes a spinning wheel within a wheel. Mm. And it's got four humanoids. It doesn't say men. It says, you know, human-shaped creatures inside it who, who are inside the craft. And it depends on which version of the Bible you read, but there's clearly references to things that seem anomalous. And a lot of people of Christian faith say that they're just allegorical, that they're just a form of metaphor. But what I found really refreshing about Congressman Burchett was his willingness to be open-minded, to ac accept the possibility that, that there is perhaps an extraterrestrial explanation for this. And just to emphasize this point, the Vatican is ready for this argument. The Catholic Church has long been prepared for the possibility of non-human intelligent life. And as popes have said in the past, we are all God's children, whatever kind of intelligent creatures we are. Yeah, well, this is all very interesting, and I need a refresher on Ezekiel, apparently. Uh, Burchard also uh, revealed to you that there would be more hearings on the horizon with brand new whistleblowers. Who will that be, and what are you expecting, Ross? Uh, we can but speculate. There is intense impatience in the social media world of UAP ufology right now. A lot of people are throwing their hands up in the air and saying they want to see the evidence, and so do we all. Uh, I'm talking to people who would describe themselves as whistleblowers. They're thinking about coming forward. They're talking to congressional staff who are in charge of the key oversight committees. And I guess we just have to wait and see. Congressman Burchett is indicating that there are whistleblowers who are now prepared to come forward. Well, we know you're working your sources. We cannot wait to see what comes next. Ross Coldhart, thank you so much as always, and congrats on this new episode. We'll be listening. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.